Matthew 19 and also Mark 10. What are God's commands concerning divorce? Very simple. You don't do it. Our country, our world is in big trouble for all the divorce that's going on. It says, God, what God hath joined together, let no man, let not man put asunder. It says it again, what therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You're breaking something that God did and what you vowed to keep if you have div make divorce it says save for but you say but it says save for fornication okay well check this out too where does it say that the man can remarry okay you put away a wife because of fornication And then maybe the woman says, well, what about if the man fornicates? Well, I guess, <laughs> yeah, you put, you put him away, but you don't, you don't remarry. See, that's, that's the thing, too. Where does it say in the, either one of these passages that you can remarry? It doesn't. It doesn't say. In fact, it says, whosoever shall put away his wife, you know, except to be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. So, you put a, you know, you, you remarry, you commit adultery. You're committing adultery by remarrying. But well, but then it says, it's like, who, who so ever shall put away his wife except to be for fornication and shall marry another? Okay, so actually, I, mean, I don't know. Is it saying that if there was fornication involved that they're allowed to remarry in that situation? But then it says, whoso marrieth her that is put away doth commit adultery. Okay, so obviously the only, the only way that you can put away a spouse is if they commit adultery. But then somebody else comes along and marries that one who was put away. Because that's a, a lifetime thing. Because that was the vow that was made too. So it's like a, you know, it's pretty heavy duty death sentence on marriage. You just ain't going to be able to get married again. You fornicate, you get put away by your spouse. You want to go marry somebody else? You're now a whore. I'm sorry, that's exactly what, what's the deal. You know, because it says here, Whoso marrieth her that is put away doth commit adultery. Now, once again, it might be a leap, you know, to, to, to switch the gender thing. Because it doesn't, it doesn't have it both ways here. But anyway, you know, it's a, it's a touchy subject and uh, the world is just gone, ran with what they think, or whatever, there's just no concern for the most part, and uh, might be stepping on some toes mentioning this, but so be it, it's God's word, if you're concerned about it, study it, ask God, I'm not ever planning on divorcing, not ever planning on fornicating against my wife, or her do so, doing so against me, so I don't have to worry about it, you know, the Lord has been very gracious to give me a very very sweet wife and I want to honor her by you know not doing wrong and not having to worry about divorce and all that stuff but anyways here's just something else I wanted to point out too it says for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they twain shall be one flesh and then it says it again that's in Matthew 18 or 19 and then also it says uh For this cause a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. And God puts them together in that way. That's the way it's meant to be. And, uh, you know, that's how it works. And you're not supposed to rend that joining. Let not man put asunder. Here's what it comes from uh, Genesis chapter 2. And verse 24. And check out how interesting this is. Man, you know, was here and then Eve was created. And then, it says, Therefore 
God said, Shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Did you ever wondered about this? Did Adam and Eve ever wondered, What's a father and, mo and what's a mother? <laughs> they, they weren't father and mother yet, but this was also a fact of showing that God knew the fall was going to come. It, it hadn't happened yet. They hadn't fallen by uh, partaking of what they shouldn't have. But he knew that that was going to be the case, and that's how the deal was going to be from that point on. You know, after the fall, the man would leave his father and his mother, which would cleave unto his wife, and then the circle of life continues. <laughs>